my dear students we have to discuss few more bits and pieces about exploratory employment interview so we can discuss this in detail because this is a very important type of interview which we have to do in the very start of an interviewing process so what distinguishes an exploratory interview is the amount of time allotted to asking questions because we are not allotted much of the time to ask questions because it is just an exploratory interview and interviewers must focus on key job related issues usually for a period of 15 to 20 minutes because 15 to 20 minutes you have to ask very much job related questions you have to focus on a job related issues and it is 15 to 20 minutes for non exam applicants for example the applicants which are working on a lower jobs and about 30 minutes for professional applicants like managers doctors engineers etc and you have to decide if a full follow up interview is warranted because you have to decide after the exploratory employment interview that you need a in depth interview after it or not and if it is not required then you can simply refuse the applicants in a very initial process under these conditions interviewers often feel very much pressured into making a decision based on what they perceive to be limited information sometimes in exploratory interviewing they have, the interviewer have very limited information and it is very hard for our interviewer to make decisions just based on that limited and a basic information and they cannot make the decision that we need to call that person for the further interviewing or not need to call for a further interviewing consequently it can be tempting to dismiss a person for giving an inappropriate answer or even because of the way the dress he dresses or shakes your hand so based on a very basic a very inappropriate things you can just dismiss the person and you would not ask him for the further interviewing so you need to be very careful what kind of question you need to ask during employment uh, during exploratory employment interviewing using such non job related reasons as the basis of rejection even at this early stage in the interview process can be counterproductive for a number of reasons if you are just refusing someone based on such kind of a non job related reason it is very counterproductive and it is it is not good for the organization it is not good for the better employment branding image of the company time is limited in an exploratory interview yet you can still make decision based on a solid job related inf information no doubt the time is just 20 minutes for non professional jobs and 30 minutes for the professional jobs but still in 20 or 30 minutes you can ask a very solid job related question the process of deciding who passes an exploratory interview begins with all the important job description the only thing which can decide whether the applicant is pass or fail that is about the jd job description the major duties and responsibilities the person need to do in the organization if your question would be more related to the job description if it would be more related to the job specification obviously the validity of the employment interview would be more it would be more effective it would it would be more efficient first segregate those tasks that are essential in every job my dear students there are some tasks which are essential and there are some tasks which are not essential so you have to segregate the essential and non essential task in your job description after segregation many companies write their job description so that each duty is coded as being essential or non essential just assume that one job have 10 major task and responsibilities and you can put e means essential in front of essential job task and you can put non e in front of some non essential job task so this coding is very important and it can help you to ask very specific question during exploratory employment interviewing additionally they note an approximate percentage of the time devoted to each task those tasks which are very essential in terms of the percentage you have to allocate more time to ask question about that particular task and those tasks which are not much essential you can ignore them even in the exploratory employment interviewing if there are none or just a few tasks that require 20% or more of the incumbent's time adjust the percentage downward so that you have 
somewhere between four and eight essential tasks which are isolated from non-essential tasks. If necessary, isolate all essential tasks, even those requiring 5% or less time in order to come up with half dozen or so duties. So you can, you can isolate most of the essential tasks and focus on those non-essential tasks so that your exploratory employment interview can be more effective and efficient and it can yield better results so you can ask only relevant and most suitable candidates for the in-depth job specific interviewing.